class 5 IMO level 2. Achiever section question number 46. Match the following and select the correct option. First one. 1900s less than 27.6 is dash more than 27. 1900s is equal to 0 0.19. 1900s less than 27.6 is 27.41 and 27.41 is 0 0.41 more than 27. So first is equal to the Q option. Second one, subtract 3032.5 from the product of 289.5 and 21. The product of these two numbers subtracted from 3032.5 is the P option. Third one, the quotient when 64464 is divided by 16 is 4029. So the option is R. So the answer is C option. Achiever section question number 47. Read the statements carefully and select the correct option. Statement 1. If the carpet is laid on the floor of a room 10, 10 meter by 6, leaving a border 1 meter wide all around it, then the perimeter of the carpet is 24 meters. Let us check if this statement is true. The carpet is laid leaving 1 meter border all around. If so, the length of the carpet would be 8 meters and the breadth would be 4 meters. So, the perimeter of the carpet is equal to 2 into L plus V, that is 24 meters. So, statement 1 is true. Statement 2. The perimeter of the rectangle is 12 centimeter. If the measure of the length is 3 by 2 centimeter more than its breadth, then the breadth of the rectangle is 2.25 centimeter. Given the length of the rectangle is 3 by 2 plus B. Substituting the length of the rectangle in perimeter of the rectangle, we will get 2 into 3 by 2 plus B and there is another breadth, so plus B, which is equal to 12 cm, which they have already given. Using this equation, we can find the value of B. B is equal to 2.25 cm. So this statement is also correct. So the answer is A. Achieve a section question number 48. On a particular Sunday, a coffee shop sold the following items. The cost of a cup of coffee is twice the cost of a cup of tea. If the total amount earned by the shop, shop owner is 12,200 rupees, then the cost of one cup of tea and one cup of coffee respectively are. Here they have not given the price of one tea and one coffee, but they have given the number of cups sold. Let us take cost of 1 coffee as C and cost of 1 tea as T. On Sunday, total amount for coffee sold was number of coffee cups sold into cost of 1 coffee that is 450 into C. On Sunday, total amount for tea was sold is equal to number of cups tea sold into cost of 1 tea which is equal to 320 into T. Given coffee is twice cost of tea. We can write this as C equal to 2 into T, which is equal to equation 1. Given 450 into C plus 320 into T is equal to 12,200. Substituting equation 1 and equation 2, we get 450 into 2T plus 320 into T, which is equal to 12,200. Using this, we can find the value of T, which is equal to 10 rupees. Substituting the value of t in equation 1, we can get the value of c which is equal to 20 rupees. So the answer is a. Achieve a section question number 49. Anya is thinking of a 5 digit number. Its 10th digit is the smallest prime number. The smallest prime number is 2. Its 1th digit is twice the 100th digit. So the 1th digit would be 2 into 100th. When 10,000 digits is divided by its tens, the quotient is 3. The tens is 2. So 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. Its hundredth digit is 3 less than the 10,000th digit. That is 3. Its thousandth digit is the largest one digit odd number. The largest one digit odd number is 9. Find the number Anya is thinking of. 
The number Anya is thinking of is 69,326. That is the C option. Achieve a section question number 50. Study the given figure carefully and fill in the blanks. 1. Number of pairs of parallel lines in the given figure is P. AB is parallel to CD and EF is parallel to JK. So there are two pairs of parallel lines. Second one. Number of pairs of perpendicular lines are Q. M and N are perpendicular to CD. So 1, 3. There are R lines which are intersecting with AB. EF, HG, JK intersect with AB. So there are 3 lines which intersect with AB. So P is equal to 2, Q is equal to 1 and R is equal to 3. That is the B option. That's it for this video. Make sure to subscribe, hit that like button and turn on post notifications so that you guys never miss out on a video that I upload. And I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.